Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a cloth simulation in Maya 2017. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a flag simulation like this one. So let's stop this and uh, let's go to file, new scene and I don't want to save that. Right so first of all we're going to create our flag so I'm going to go to polygons and then I'm going to create a plane. And then with that plane selected, I'm going to go to polyplane one here on the side. And I'm going to set the width to around six and the height to around four. So that's basically the shape of our flag that we're going to use. And I also want to increase the subdivisions width to 30 and also height to 30. That should be enough for the simulation. And then I just want to rotate this flag. So I'm going to press E on the keyboard and just rotate that. Go to your P plane uh, one and just set this to rotate 90 degrees. So it's nice and flat like that. And then we want to assign our texture to this. So I'm going to open my hypershade and um, then I'm going to go down to Arnold shader surface AI standard. And then next to color, I'm going to click on the little checker box, then click on file. And uh, then click on this yellow folder to load your texture, browse to your texture. I'm just using this JPEG of the South African flag and then click on open. And uh, then I want to assign this to my plane. So I'm just going to middle mouse click, drag and drop it on there. And um, now we want to enable our hardware texturing in the viewport. So I'm going to click on shading and then go to hardware texturing. So as you can currently see, our UV projection is incorrect. So I'm going to select my plane, go to UV here at the top, and then I'm going to click on the box next to planar. Okay, so in this instance, we want to project in the Z axis. So I'm going to set that to Z and then click on project. Okay, everything should be fine. You can see that our texture is looking good. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out here and I'm going to move my flag up a bit. So pressing W, just move it up. And then we want to create our flag pole. So I'm going to click on cylinder and I'm just going to click R to scale, scale it down and then scale it upwards and scale it down a little bit more. And then we're going to go up and I'm just going to move it into position, maybe something like that. And then I want to move my flag up as well. And I just want to move it so it's kind of touching that flag pole, something like that. All right, so let's just zoom in there. So next we want to apply the in cloth properties to our flag. So I'm going to select the flag and then make sure you're on the FX tab. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu on the side, go to FX. And then with the plane selected, I'm going to go to in cloth and then I'm going to click on create in cloth. All right, so if we play back now, you'll see that the flag will just fall down. So obviously we need to attach it to this pole. So I'm going to select the flag pole and then I'm going to click on in cloth again and then I'm going to click on create passive collider. All right, now we need to attach them. So first of all, I'm going to go to shading and then x-ray so we can kind of see through that flag pole. And then I'm going to right click on my flag, go to vertex and then I want to select all these vertices along this row. So I'm just going to click and drag around them like that. And then I'm going to hold in shift on the keyboard, click on the flag pole, go to in constraint here at the top, and then I'm going to click on point to surface. All right, so now if we play back, you will see that the flag is actually attached to that flag pole. Pretty cool. All right, so let's stop that, go back to the first frame. And um, now we want to add some forces like wind, etc. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can actually do this on the nucleus that it created. So if you select your flag, uh, you can go to the nucleus tab here at the top, nucleus one. And then it's got a gravity and wind section here where you can actually just change the wind speed, wind direction. So let's say we want to go in the X direction. So I'm going to change this wind direction to X. So it's X, Y, Z. That's already one. And you can play with the wind speed. So I'm going to set this to around 30. And now if we play back, you'll see that we've got some wind going in that direction. And you can see it's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to show you guys another way to add some forces to it. So basically what you do is you select your flag first, very importantly. And um, then you're going to go to your fields and solvers here at the top. And then you can add something like turbulence. All right, and it's just going to drop it in there. You can move it around if you want to add it, maybe this side of the flag. And um, that will automatically be attached to the flag because we selected the flag first and then we created it. And then with this turbulence field selected, you can change the setting. So you can change the magnitude, uh, the frequency, all of those things, the noise level. And if we play this back, you'll see that that will be affecting our um, simulation as well. Let's say we want to add a vortex. So I'm going to select the flag first 
go to fields and solvers and then click on vortex and um, let's just move it up a bit and then you can change the magnitude maybe let's make it something crazy like a thousand um, and let's see what happens and as you can see there's some different movement to that wind maybe let's up this to 10,000 and then you can see that our flag is going crazy and that's how easy it is to create some cool cloth simulations in Maya 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And remember, I upload new tutorials on a weekly basis. So click on that subscribe button to be notified. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye.